we do is we design new catalysts. We, we come up with ideas and uh, take difficult reactions and design new catalytic materials for them. 33, 35 years ago, I was working in industry and they had a catalyst for making vinyl chloride monomer. Now, this is a very important monomer. It makes PVC and it's made in many cases by using mercury as a catalyst. And this is an extremely nasty material. A sixth of a kilogram of the mercury is lost per tonne of vinyl chloride monomer that's made. That's a lot of mercury and it's going into the environment. So we needed to find a better catalyst. By looking at data that other people had published, I predicted that gold would be the best catalyst. Gold has got applications where other elements have not made it yet. It's a very good catalytic component for making hydrogen peroxide, which could be used for water cleanup. And that would have massive benefits across the globe because access to clean water is something that many people don't have. The reason why gold catalysis hasn't achieved traction or, or has been taken up, I think, is some of the perceptions of the cost of gold. Gold really wants to be a chunk of metal. This is its native state. I think people always thought it would be difficult to make something which would really be stable and last. The key to this project really was the understanding of how these gold catalysts worked and that allowed us to produce these new materials which otherwise one would not really expect to have catalytic function. Once we had realised that these new gold complexes that we had made gave this very high activity, then that was the moment at which we realised we really have something quite unique and this will really present this breakthrough within this industry. As academics, we can make a catalyst and yeah, it will work and it will work for 10 minutes. The innovations that Peter's done is, has been important to making it so it lasts and it really lasts. It's fantastic that it's now being commercialised. Without innovation, there can be no progress. We would stand still. I really feel that Catalysis offers solutions to some of the major problems facing society today. Clean water, clean energy, food, and Catalysis plays a vital role in those.